guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to install Expose Framework on Moto G4 Plus. Uh, Expose Framework for Nogget is uh, really new and there has been a lot of discussion whether it is actually stable or not. So we are going to install it and find out whether this is true. So I am using default stock ROM which is Android 7.0 on a Moto G4 Plus to install Exposed Framework because installing Exposed Framework on stock ROM makes sense. If you install Exposed Framework on a custom ROM, it already has those features which Exposed is going to provide you. So it doesn't make sense. I just wanted to remind you again that whatever modifications you are making are at your own risk. Please don't hold me responsible for all of these. And if you face any problem, just leave it in the comments. We'll solve that out together. There are a few things that we would want to install Exposed Framework that would be uh, the APK Exposed Installer and the Exposed Framework.z. So once we have the APK, we can obviously install uh, the Framework's uh, zip file through it. Okay, so we are here and I already downloaded the APK file. And let's go into it, internal storage, downloads, Exposed Installer 3.1.2. Just quickly install it. Now, it will not work uh, as soon as I install the installer because of the fact that I have not rooted the device yet. It is still very very stock. So I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to use Magisk to root this device and I will just download Magisk Manager quickly. I will leave the link in description for this to be downloaded. So let's quickly start it again. And since it is downloaded, let's open and install. Let's open it up and it will give us a pop-up install magisk manager so let's just install and download zip only we will need to do a little bit of work before uh, we can actually root this device or even flash magisk phone 1.0 so i'm just waiting for it to be downloaded quickly so that we can i can show you by going into the recovery how to actually root this device we already have videos for it but since it is needed for uh, installing um, exposed i will make sure that everything is covered in the single video so you do not have to go in other videos to know how to root this device and then come back to my video to install exposed so once it is downloaded i can see it is stored here i will go on and quickly reboot it to recovery reboot it to bootloader first so let's go down and see sorry developer set options if we have adb in yeah debugging is on so i am going to go back to my pc and i am going to reboot it to bootloader as a shortcut what you can do is you can press and hold the power key which i'll be showing in a minute so what we can do is uh, we can download this adb and i will reboot it to bootloader through adb if you don't know how to do it i'm just going to show it shift press shift and right click and open powershell window here once it is there you need to type dot backslash adb reboot bootloader once this is done the device automatically reboots to bootloader once we are here we need to now flash custom recovery we need to make sure that we have custom recovery which i have like i have three here but i'm going to use this one if your device is encrypted you can decrypt it as well so i'm going to type dot forward backslash fast boot flash recovery and i'm going to copy the name dot img once this is done and recovery is flash we are good to go so i'm just going to go down to recovery mode and i'm going to press the power button so now we need to first of all what we need to do is we need to root the device of course you need to flash magisk but the problem is if you flash magisk over the custom over the stock uh, rom it is actually going to break the device soft breaking not hard breaking so you can always come back to bootloader right so what we need to do is we need to install a custom kernel first so i already have it downloaded if you want to download the same kernel you can obviously go ahead and uh, find the link in the description it is vegeto 6 point uh, something vegeto kernel 6.8 so this is actually the kernel which i find very stable and it gives a lot of uh, good battery backup on the stock so you can use this kernel without any problems please make sure it is 6.8 it has three variants one is for marshmallow one is for 7.0 and one is one is for 7.1 so i'm going to leave the link in the description so you can find which one do you want to use not this yeah so i'm going to click it and i'm going to flash it takes just few seconds and we are good wipe data and cache cache and dalvik sorry not data come back now we can flash Magisk 14.0 so Magisk 14.0 is not an external SD card it's an internal storage 
So go to internal, address manager folder, address 1410. So swipe it. Takes few minutes to do stuff that it wants to do. What it basically does is it does everything systemlessly. So no matter what you uh, have installed via Magisk on your phone, it is everything is done systemlessly. So it does not touch your system partition, which gives you easy access to the OTA as well. So what you need to do is just grab an uninstaller for Magisk, flash it, every changes, every change that you have done to the phone actually gets diverted back to stock and you can take the OTA and do the same process again for rooting. Anything, any software that requires root which is installed on your phone via Magisk is actually deactivated once you uninstall it. Pretty cool feature. So I'm going to wipe it again. So we are rooted. We are going to reboot back to the system. It will take a little time since it needs to uh, build up cache once again since we have cleared it. Uh, there won't be any power up sound since I have switched off. But the power up sound is also good. So the device will boot up if you have flashed a custom kernel before flashing my disk 410. If you have not done that, your device will not boot. Trust me. So okay, Vegito, you can see that brightness is real though. Vegito kernel supports very low brightness because screen is the screen is the one that takes out a lot of juice. So I'm going to hop into the phone again. Okay. Okay, so we are back here and we have already rooted our device with Magisk. Now I'm going to go into Expose Installer, which we installed previously. And I'm going to install the version 88.1, the latest one. So I'm going to click Install via Recovery. Just in case nothing goes wrong, please make sure that you always install via Recovery. It's the best. Unless it is, it is mentioned somewhere. So we are going to hop into Recovery soon. The little vibration makes sure that, yes, everything is fine. This is the unofficial version of uh, TWRP. If you want to grab the official version, you can do that. I'll leave everything, every each and every link in the description. So we have flashed, exposed now. We're going back to system again. Very, very smooth process. Nothing to worry about. So once exposed and installed, the boot up time is a little higher. I don't know why exposed has something that triggers, uh, that it takes a lot of time for booting. Uh, I don't know if you have noticed anything like Android is starting and it optimizes, it used to optimize all the system applications as well as user applications. In the previous versions of Android, it's the same thing happens here, but it is not, it is just that that particular thing is not shown on Nougat. If you flash exposed Marshmallow device, you can always see that, but it is not shown in Nougat. It is just done in the background. So that is the reason it takes a lot of time. Sometimes you can also um, experience dual booting which means this device switch off right now and reboot again so do not worry that is just normal uh, behavior after exposure and installed so uh, we wait till the time it properly optimizes everything and starts up yeah starts now it's really lovely so let's hop into the phone okay so we have installed expose install uh, zip and we can see it is active here let's quickly find out if we can activate and hook up greenify with it so i am just going to find out greenify and install it very small open okay before setting it up let's go ahead and activate this and reboot oops sorry and we oh Reboot my device. Okay, so we are back after rebooting and activating Greenify. Let's set Greenify up. And I'm very sure my device is rooted. It'll, there will be a pop up. Here it is. We need to wait for a little time. I believe it's not sure. No, now it is sure. Okay, perfect. So once we have this, let's go to settings and see. We have root plus boost exposed here, and we can select. Now the exposed one, these will require a donation package which I do not have of course. So I can obviously go ahead and I can add few, I do not have any user apps as of now so let me just 
no there are no user apps which i can use so donation packet supports system application so if i have had any uh, user application installed i would have showed you but let's check one more which is gravity box quickly it has been recently updated to nogat as soon as exposed was upgraded so let's quickly check out if we can find gravity box i'm not sure whether it does one yeah we got it so there's gravity box n if we go to version we click download it's very small package 4 and 4.5 4.5 mb so once we click install it gets installed so we can activate and reboot i am going to activate only and then reboot my device so expose module has been activated let's just quickly check it out we're going back so yeah there is a tick here and i will be rebooting my device now okay so we are back where after the reboot after installing gravity box so let's hope it is working as expected okay i got it so i'm just going to tweak a little my it requires it, it also requires reboot i'm just going to try to find out if anything that does not require uh, reboot so yeah i can check that and i can click it and see that my if you can see the status bar my battery indicator just changed so i don't know if battery bar can also be found out uh yeah battery bar is up there at the top at the top if i just want to be to come down that's bottom edge and if you can see yeah that's here it is here so based on the thickness you can actually see 3 px and now you can actually find it there so battery bar is there so centered charging animation if any so my phone is now charging so it's giving animation so yeah gravity box is also working as expected and so very much proves that exposed is working perfectly fine with nogat 7.0 especially with moto g4 plus stock room so we need exposed in stock room only i don't see um why would people install it on custom rooms because custom rooms are called custom rooms because you can they are already customized and exposed is only and gravity box is only for stock rooms that do not allow those modifications so yes exposed is working and this is more or less the way to use it so please try it out if you find any any issues any problems while going through this please leave it in the comments i'll be more than happy to help you out and this is not my work i won't will not take credit of this this is done by the developers who are working really hard and trying really hard every day to make a uh, better and better softwares so i cannot take um, credit of it but i am only making a video to show how to do it if you really like my hard work please uh, like and subscribe the channel and if you'd be so kind please donate so that i can set up my new studio and bring up more videos for you so thank you so much for watching guys may you have a good day See